Hello, Tutor LMS Academy viewers. Today we have a re-upload of a video that we have had previously on our channel. So this video is about how to get the Google social login key for Tutor LMS social login feature. So let's get right into it. The process mainly consists of setting things up and the Google Developer Console. So here we are at the Google Developer Console. Just search on Google and click on the first link that shows up. You can also access this link from the Tutor LMS settings in the authentication tab by clicking a hyperlink. So to start off, we need to first create a project. If you've seen our videos on Google Meet and Google Classroom, this process will be very familiar to you. Anyways, so let's go ahead and click on create project and this will take us to the project creation menu. Go ahead and give your project a name. We'll go ahead and call this Tutor LMS. If you have an organization that you're working for, you can put the detail here and click on create. Once the project is created, select that project. So now we need to click on APIs and services button and then go to the OAuth consent screen right here. So now we have to go through this OAuth consent screen setup for the user type, we're gonna select external and click on create. Then we can set our app name, app logo, app domain, and once you're happy with all that, click on save and continue. You also need to add a developer email here, so make sure that you have that email address added. Once you're done with all that, click save and continue. Then we come to the scopes screen. Once at the scope screen, we need to add two scopes. So very easy to remember, we need to only select the first two scopes that are at the top of the scopes tab. After you select them, click on update and then hit save and continue. On this screen, you can add users who can test your app. Remember that this will only work when the app is in the testing phase. In this tutorial, we will not be keeping the app in the testing phase, rather we're going to publish the app. So we don't actually have to add any users here. So we go ahead and click once again, save and continue. So we're done with the initial setup. Now it's time to create our OAuth client ID. Before we go over to the next step over here, we're going to click on publish app and make sure that this app is not in the testing phase. Then we click on credentials tab. We click on create credentials and we select OAuth client ID. From this dropdown, we need to click select our application type. We're going to be selecting web application and we can set a name for our application. And then this is where the real work happens. We need to add an authorized JavaScript origin and an authorized redirect URI. Now, to get these two URIs, we need to head over to Tutor LMS. So in Tutor LMS, we need to navigate from Tutor LMS settings and go to the authentication tab. In the authentication tab, we need to enable the Google social login because we're trying to integrate Google social login for Tutor LMS. And we simply click on copy redirect URL. Once this URL is copied, we'll head over back to the Google developer console. And then we'll need to add the URL that we copied into this text box right here. You also need to add a URI on this text box. So paste the same URI that you have, except you need to cut out this dashboard part. So select that and press delete. Once you've made all those changes, click on create and we will be presented with our client ID. Now we need to take this client ID, copy this, just the client ID, by the way, we don't need anything else. And then we have to come back to Tutor LMS and paste the client ID that we just got into this text box. Once we've pasted this here, that's all we have to do. Hit save changes and Google social login will now be integrated into Tutor LMS. So now when logging into your e-learning site, users can log in through their Google accounts, making life all that much easier for you. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. We hope you found this tutorial on obtaining a Google social login key useful. We hope that this process will be working for you now, as some of our users have expressed that it was not working. Please let us know in the comments if you face any further problems. Don't forget to like this video and we'll catch you in the next one.